Yo, what's going on people? Today we're taking a look at the new terabyte truck as part of the After Hours DLC and actually trying to figure out is this actually worth it and I don't make you at the end of the video but I kind of feel like I'm repeating myself on majority of the videos because no, this truck is not worth it. Um, that being said, it's not bad but this truck is one of those things where do you need it? No, but if you have it, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty nice to have. So this truck is just basically a quality of life improvement for GTA Online. So what can you do with this truck? Well, there are more client missions uh, available now. I think there's either six or seven of them. But the main thing of this truck is uh, kind of the main thing like your nightclub, consolidating all of your other businesses into one thing. So this truck just saves you a lot of driving around. So from this truck, you can actually source whatever it is for your other businesses before if you let's deal with the the car dealership uh it's not dealership can't remember what it's called the import export uh warehouse that thing so you have to drive to your office source a vehicle collect the vehicle deliver it to warehouse and if you want another vehicle you have to drive all the way back to the office and repeat the process if you have this truck it doesn't matter where you are you can now source a vehicle and that goes for all the other businesses so you can source whatever product you want on the go instead of driving all the way back to that particular office or the bunker, wherever. Again, this truck just saves you a lot of driving, which in the long run is kind of, I guess, making money faster because you don't have to do that much driving. So that is kind of the main purpose of the truck. If you don't buy any upgrades, that's, you know, that's normally what this is used for. Anything else after that is just a plus. So you can buy the upgrade for the drone station. Uh, you get to control a little remote drone you can shock other players with it uh, it has a boost and it can self detonate so i guess you can use this to um do kamikaze runs on unsuspecting players if they're keeping relatively still and the other station is actually um what's the word i'm looking for a remote control barrage basically it's kind of like a, a anti-air and but not just for air, it locks onto anything. So I guess this is in response to the new flying uh, bike. Can't remember what the name is right now, but there's the MK2 variant. So I guess this is to try to cut down on that. What I actually like about this is this is better than the anti-air attachment for the APC. Um, not sure if it is cheaper or not, but it can lock onto multiple things. Uh, I think it locks on up to five things at once and the rockets travel relatively fast and far so I would put this over the anti-air attachment for the APC uh, which I like. The truck is also very customizable both the inside and the outside you could actually put some very large rims on it if you want, upgrade the speed, the armor. Um, unlike the MOC this actually can be destroyed but you won't die. Once it's destroyed it's going to automatically just spawn you outside so that's also pretty cool um there's also a player scanner kind of like the the choppers in single player where you could uh scan people and see their info and stats you can now do that online with this truck the uh six missions they're actually pretty cool they're very short and they pay you like 30,000 minimum and just a little bit over that so um six missions at 30,000 each that's, a, that's a, a decent amount of money but the last two missions require that you have someone else in your uh, associate group or your biker gang or whatever and you can also do these missions solo in your own private session so that's also pretty cool the only thing that you need to do in a public session is if you're sourcing vehicles of, or whatever else of course for your businesses and yeah that's that's about it so again the truck isn't bad but it's like you don't really need it but if you have it then it's cool to have the only thing though is the price um, this is like the MOC, so if you want this truck, you're gonna have to have a nightclub first, and then you're gonna have to buy the truck. So, at minimum, that's probably gonna set you back uh, a little bit over $2 million. And then, if you want the upgrades like the um, like the MOC, this can hold a weapon workshop, and this is the only thing that you can use to upgrade the flame bike, the oppressor. That's what it's called, I just remember. Um, this is the only truck that can upgrade the oppressor, so if you have the vehicle workshop in your MOC or the Avenger you can't use that this is the only truck that is able to upgrade that and then to buy the drone station and the anti-air missile station so if you want all of those and you don't have a nightclub that's gonna set you back about uh, between two to four million dollars so that's what I'm said um, 
it's not really worth it it's nice to have so if you do want this i would just say wait for a sale because like i said i don't really have any problems with this truck but you just you don't really need it so if you don't have much businesses then um i would say only look at this if it's on sale or if you have like all of the businesses so yeah that's been my review of the terabyte truck I, if you found this helpful you can leave a like and comment down below what are your thoughts on this truck and subscribe for more gta 5 content thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video